Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's that time of the week again where I share with you exactly what I've had for my tea um, or dinner if you don't call it tea. Um, so it's the start of the week and the first thing that I fancied was something really really simple because I want to try and go a little bit low carb. Um, I've put on a few pounds since my holiday and then I had a really bad cold so I was kind of feeding my cold. So I want to try and do not keto but just low carb really. Um, so the first thing I've got is um, a soft or a lightly fried egg. I've got one of the baby cucumbers that I bought at the weekend that's just um, sliced really. And then this is a bit strange, it's white cabbage with onion and mushroom that I boil the cabbage and then I saute the mushroom and the red onion and then put it together. Um, it's got garlic salt in there uh, and some pepper. Um, and that's it really, just something really, really simple, but really low carb and it's just what I fancied. I did have a fairly big lunch as well, so yeah, a nice light tea. So tea tonight is kind of a Sunday dinner, but there's no potatoes and there's no Yorkshire puddings. But there's a couple of slices of the cold roast chicken that I bought at Lidl. Um, there's some cauliflower that's just boiled, um, some white cabbage that I just boiled and put loads of pepper on there because I love that. Uh, and then I've boiled and roasted some parsnips. There looks to be a load of parsnips there. There was only one big one. And then just a small carrot. So they're roasted just in some garlic olive oil. And then the red blob over there is the lingonberry jam, which complements chicken, I think. So it's as low carb as I can go. I know the jam or the lingonberry sauce is not low carb, but it's still staying away from pasta, rice and potatoes, which is my main enemy so yeah that's my tea tonight i think this is a sweet plantain curry that looks absolutely delicious so tea tonight is a cheese and onion and tomato omelette it's just two eggs sliced tomato um a little bit of onion and some red leicester cheese that i've kind of put in a little bit of butter put on a, a hot oven and then put under the grill just to just to brown it off and cook it on the top. And then I've got a little slice of ham though, which was left over. I was gonna take it for my lunch, but I, but I might as well eat it for my tea because there's not enough for lunch tomorrow. So still staying with low carb where I can. And then to drink, I've got a little crafty pink gin and tonic. So yeah, that is tea tonight. So it's tea time again and tonight I've done a salt and pepper chicken which I just did in a few gluten free breadcrumbs. Lots of salt, lots of pepper, lots of celery salt, um, garlic granules, um, the usual things. Um, and then I've got some boiled cauliflower, um, I've got some buttered carrots and I've got some Honduras prawns um, that I cooked myself in some garlic butter. So. Still trying to do a little bit low carb, I've not had potatoes or pasta, so I haven't got in there. So tea tonight is a very hearty autumn fall kind of soup. Um, it's pumpkin and orange, it looks very white, um, but there's a, like a quarter of the pumpkin that I bought at the weekend. I've taken all the flesh out and fried it with some onions, um, some garlic, there's a stalk of celery in there. There's a little bit or a tiny bit of red pepper in there as well. The salt and pepper. I also put some cinnamon in there, some ground ginger and a little bit of um, coriander flakes, which I think the recipe told me to use. I don't stick to a recipe as such. I kind of make it up, but I did have a bit of a look at a recipe and then kind of made it my own. So it's gluten free and it's got vegetable stock. And then at the end, when I put it in my, in my YouTube billet, I added like three tablespoons of fresh cream. Um, and there's um, one orange that I zested. Um, I didn't get a lot of the zest off and then squeezed all the juice out. So I can really taste the orange. There's a little bit of chili in there as well, just to give it a little bit of a kick. So yeah, and it's baking hot is this. So Having said that, it's the end of the week, so I'm going to end that on a lovely pumpkin and orange soup. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, then please press that red subscribe button. Leave me or a comment or just give me a big thumbs up. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend.